It's long driven me crazy that I can't choose a solid colour, an arbitrary solid colour, easily as my OS X background. So, for example, if you come into solid colours in the desktop and screensaver preference pane, you can select from ten different colours. And none of them are particularly dark. That's about as dark as it gets, but, you know, I'd kind of like black. The solution that I've used in the past is I've gone into something like Photoshop, that kind of app, graphics app, produced a little square of the colour in question, turned it into a graphic, and then applied that as my desktop image wallpaper. That's okay, that's a one solution, but I found a way where you can use a, any arbitrary colour and you can actually select it with an Apple colour selector and get it as the background. No hacks, no massive tricks, this is quite easy to do. What you need to do, and I've kind of done a little bit of the legwork here, is I've created a PNG file that is entirely transparent that you can download. So this is like kind of like almost like a non-wallpaper that we're going to apply as our wallpaper. So I've brought up Chrome here, and I'm going to put in my uh, URL to the file in question, no.gd forward slash tp.png.zip. If you just put that in there, um, Chrome just puts it into the download folder. It should be the same for you. If I come along to the download folder, I have my tp.png file. If you double click that, you end up with a file called tp.png. Great, I'm just going to drop that to the desktop and close that. Now this is a completely transparent file. If I press space just to do a quick preview, there's nothing in there, except there is. What I now do is I'll drag the tp.png over into the pane here. You can see it lights up, means it's going to accept the file. And now it's changed the background to kind of a blue. Well, what you can come in here is you can change the fill screen to center. And once you've done that, what it does is it actually puts the transparent PNG file in the middle of the screen but then allows you to choose a colour that surrounds that transparent uh, graphic. But because it's transparent, it's almost like we're just setting a colour for the desktop. So I want to set my black. There we go. We're good to go. And then you can set any kind of shade you like. If that's, you know, that's good to you, that's good to you, that's good to you, that's good to you, that's good to you. You can literally just play around and get whatever it is that suits your mood at the time. And I just really like playing backgrounds just because it keeps clutter out the way, keeps everything nice and simple. I don't need graphics in the background. Um, you know, I don't need a picture of my daughter. I can go home and see her whenever I like. Uh, so, you know, I just found this a really good way of uh, getting around the problem and hopefully it will help you too.